Hello YouTube, this is Dawn from Dead Be Creative and I am here with a different type of project share today. Well, not project share, but swap. So if you don't like napkins, no need in watching this video. But my crafty friends and I, we we have fun, we craft sometimes two or three times a week. Um, usually Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday. It just depends on our mood and what's going on. And not everybody's always there, but a good portion of the same people are always there. Um, and we always scrap once a month in person. But anyway, so we were talking and I had showed them the napkins that I showed on my Dollar Tree haul. The boy napkins with the dinosaurs and the monster trucks and stuff. And so then we did a swap at the Tuesday morning, which is on my Tuesday morning haul. I talked about that. And so we exchanged. We bought some more um, napkins that day and exchanged. We all bought some off the clearance office. They all had a lot on clearance and we exchanged them. So I want to show you what I got from them as well as what I gave and then some additional ones that I just bought that I'm going to share with them. So if you're not into watching napkins, hmm, no need to watch and say, oh, what was it all about? But this was a swap we did. So hopefully you'll be seeing from us some mixed media projects because we vowed at least one day out of our monthly crop to maybe do some kind of some type of thing like a zine, ATC, um, iCAD or index card, whichever one you want to call it, um, member decks or our journal page where we can actually use some of our napkins because you can use this or on a canvas. You can decoupage it on so many different things. So think outside the box. But these are ready-made backgrounds when you use napkins. So there's advantages of that and you usually can get those very affordable. And if you're someone like me who really does a freehand draw, um, it's just like a stencil. This is a great way to get some background. You can use your decoupage or your matte mediums to adhere it to pretty much any surface. So, um, and they're cheap and affordable. You just get 20, you know, no less than 10 in the pack, up to 60 in the pack. Just depends on what you're buying. So anyway, this is what I got. So I'm just telling you that if you don't want to watch, then go ahead and turn on. Instead of saying, oh, I understand the point of that video because I know sometimes people watch it without the sound. So if you read the caption, just let you know. So this is one that I got, and this is only for one person. So the other, the other girls hadn't gotten their stuff yet, so together, although, well, I'll take it back. One of the girls, um, she just started getting to nap, so she bought some, and she gave us some right then at Tuesday morning. But um, some of the other people haven't done it yet, but that's okay. I, we have plenty. We share the, the other person now who has some addictions and some issues with napkins, because we have a support group. We call it ourselves, so we have a support group. <laughs> But anyway, so this is, it's not beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So you kind of think about that as a background. And I'm going to go quicker, but I just want to give you an example. So you can use this as a background. And then here, you know, it could be a gorgeous girl, prima doll. Like you could do anything on top of this. Make this into a memory decks card. I mean, so this is just a ready made background. So don't discount it. Just adhere it to a piece of cardstock. You know, so you could do a lot with that. So that one. And then some of these we have multiples of, which is great. So this is that little birdie. And the purple's in there. Look at that. And so, like, my sister-in-law knows when I come to visit her. <laughs> I always get some of her decorative napkins that she puts out. Look at some of the girls. She just brought this back and just splits it all up. I ended up buying it again for my sister. But, but I'm taking some of my sister, too. So I almost will have almost a complete pack. But look at this. She gave me this many. Nice. Beautiful. You just put it right on the spot and just put it with all of us. And again, look at that color shade. Look at those palettes. So a lot of times, you might not have paint that color, but you can get those palettes from a napkin. So those images. So when you want to do something collage, a glue book. Um, it's just so many different things. Look at this. You know me. Y'all, I didn't even see. Susan, look at that. Oh, my God. That's my color right there. Yes. And so they come in different shapes, as you can see. And they're easy to take apart, believe it or not. They're really easy. Oh my God, you know I love these reds. Look at that. Now this could be a house piece. You could put this on a canvas, a small canvas, and you can take a bit of art. And you can spend, you can go get a cheap canvas from Ollie's, like a three pack for like $2. Put some gesso on it so it can hear it take stuff on it. Um, so that, that it'd be a little bit more porous because the cheap canvases are cheap. They don't, you know, they're not as porous, but anyway. You could just it down and then, then go ahead and decoupage this up there. Seriously, and you got your piece of artwork. But I'm just saying, especially somebody who, you know, don't have any lot of money and you're trying to do things affordably, you can make decoupage stuff really affordable. Look at that. Nice winter layout. Look at that. Colorful. I mean, birds. Everybody uses birds and, and um, butterflies in almost every single one of our crafting styles. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying, like, so just think outside the box. 
you know, and you have so much that you can do with these. Again, that could be another one. Some at the beach, we got water, plenty of water here. So, you know, I want to make some master boards. Look at that black. Oh, you don't find too many black stained backgrounds. Look at that. You know, everybody does something like Eiffel Tower. So, I'm just saying, like, you have so many options um, that you can do. Just have to be creative again and think about it. But I'm telling you, it can save. Look at that peacock with them colors. You can, you can, and see, like these, I'm probably supposed to cut them butterflies out. See, first of all, another thing, there's panels. You can use this whole entire thing, or you can just pieces of it. You can cut one out. Like I use it a lot of times, cut one of these out, and I make uh, IK backgrounds, or memory decks, or ATC. But I can also supposed to cut out one single butterfly, take that, and collage it on something else. So this is a really affordable way to make ephemera, and people don't realize that, but it's a cheap way to make your own ephemera. It's plain and simple, and it's up on the other side, see, different panels. Clocks are timeless pieces for backgrounds for mixed media. Birds, which I'm sure it's probably, that's maybe just those two birds. No, four different birds. No, it's two. But it's two each. But again, those birds can be fussy cut out and used on another mixed media page. We've got a calendar page. So, you can do a lot of collaging with these. Another peacock. I like the script in the background with that. Oh, look at that. This is our bird of our state. See, I like this because this gives you a lot of dimension. That already looks mixed media. So the fleurs. Again, these are some of the elements that you always see in mixed media. So a lot of different things. So, and I'm trying to go fast. Look at that. But I'm hoping I'm getting some ideas. Look at that, that color palette, that pink, soft pink and blush, and um, the Eiffel Tower. So these are backgrounds that you might not never get. Like I gave her this, but we both had the same. Can of dogwood. So there's just so many different things. We give it to teacups. Oh, look at that one. And that pop of red is so beautiful against that black. So that is what I received. And again, sorry if it's long, I apologize. And again, like I already mentioned to everybody, this is not your thing, it's not your thing. So I'm going to show you what I gave real quick. And these are, well, these are the ones I'm going to give them. I didn't give them these from my newer ones. But I will be giving them that. These are some new ones I just got. you see in my haul videos. Love the vibrant colors of those fish. And that lemon. I'm supposed to maybe get that one. That black and white. Not just those real colors. All right, so this is what I gave them from my collection, and I made four bags of these, so everybody got one. And a lot of you see some of these at the Dollar Tree. And again, I've taken these women and cut the faces off and put them on pages and stuff. Hopefully you can see these. Again, you don't get too many black and white. I made a cute with this from a co-worker about, I don't know, about five, six years ago. I've had these. And she was retiring. And um, her mother used to sell these things called one of those cubes like I did with my Prima Cube. If you, my Prima Doll Cube, if you've seen from my old Prima Collab. I did one like this, but I put the quotes from her mother who had just passed away. Little wisdom quotes that were really funny that we love. Little southern quotes. And I posted them all on this, but that was the background I used to um, decoupage the cube um, that I had made her, which was really pretty. That one. Okay, I had to get D because my name. And I showed one of the girls in the group her name starts with a D. Summer. And I used this in the Prima Doll collab background. I know I made some AKS out of those. 
I know I gifted some of them to somebody here on the YT before because they love that. Y'all know who that is. <laughs> um, you know how to get that one because of those color schemes. I also made a page out of this one in my Julie Nutting. That's also in my Julie Nutting background. Um, on my art journal. And you probably didn't even pay attention, but they were napkins. You might have just thought it was a floral page, but if you look close, you can tell it's a napkin. I just did my um, for Rosa. I just used this one to do coming up roses. I used that napkin. That's the one with the birds in it. The garden. I like that little Merlot color in there. And even if a napkin is bent up, you can iron them to straighten them out. Don't think because your napkin is messed up. You can't use it. Even if it's ripped, you can take portions of it off. So like this one, when I got these, it was for that butterfly. Because I know that butterfly, that butterfly can be used. I got this purple one actually for my sister and that butterfly for her back in the day. And then I didn't realize that I got both of the same. I used this for the other a part of another project for that same person that I mentioned with that one. Look at that. I used this also in my um, Julie Nutting background with the boy stamps. And this one was, I got it from Ollie's. But I used this as a hunting theme, as a background in my um, Julie Nutting um, style stamp one. And I put two boys on it like they were hunting. So, again, you'd be surprised. And that's the same one that I gave her that she gave me. Again, you can cut those elements out of the butterflies. This is one of my Dollar Tree ones. That's the graduation napkin. That one's from the Dollar Tree, too. That's the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Because we all have males and the boys in our life, our grandsons. Um, and that was the Dollar Tree. Again, that's another background. We have military. I did give them. Why well, my bag wasn't open then? I went by that thing twice. Uh, oh no, this is the one I was trying to give them. Okay. So that is what I shared with them. So, um, be looking forward to some of our projects. I don't know if I post them all up on YouTube, but we're going to be making some in our crops that we do. I'm loving the virtual crops because we don't have to pack up anything. It is like way cool and we show each other stuff, we zoom, it is fun. So anyway, thanks for liking, watching and subscribing and I dare you to be creative. Take care, God.